and I'm dying. Well, actually, my wife said I've got a cold. <laughs> I'm starting the day off. It's still dark outside. I'm starting the day off, not with a cup of tea like I usually do, <laughs> but with some Lemsip. It'll take more than either dying or a cold to keep me away from the riverbank. So I'll see you there shortly. But in the meantime, I want to show you some of the things on the wall behind me. And if you support a certain football team, look away now. This is the Express and Star from 1959, April the 11th, and Billy Wright has just won his 100th cap for England. The first footballer to do so, and a Wolves legend. I think the term legend gets used a lot in all fields, doesn't it? But this guy really is, was a legend. This one is a little more recent, 2003. This again is the Express and Star. And as you can see, it's not faded like the Billy Wright one. Wolves win. This was the playoff final at Cardiff a few years ago, 2003. Doesn't time fly? I was there. And we got promotion to the Premier League for the first time. There are some of the players. Of course, players come and players go. But the fans are always there, aren't they? So those players have moved on now. But I'm still there. And talking of the player final, there's the ticket and my coach pass. I went with my daughter Miriam and of course we had a great day. I think winning a player final must be a, a fantastic feeling, perhaps one of the best in football. Unless you win the Champions League of course, but most of the teams we support that's not a realistic thing to say. But winning a playoff final, there's a good chance that any of us, because we have them at any division, don't we? Any of us can experience that as wonderful. But I think to lose, then it must be uh, awful. A step down memory lane there, as you can see from the wall behind me, loads of things on there, and that's just one of the sections. Anyway, I feel much better now. My Lemsip has done the trick. As you can see, even my cup is a, a Wolves Cup there. I'll see you at the riverbank, piking this morning on the middle seven. And that's the River Seven behind me. First thing that I'm gonna do, get my landing net set up, get the gear out, and then I'll get the rods baited up. I'll be fishing sardines today, dead baits of course, and uh, get those out. I've got a, I've got a swim that I've fished before, I've had pike from before. It's deep water, and that's what you're looking for this time of the year. The, the pike will follow the roach and the small fish, and of course, the latter will head into deeper water, and not far behind them will be the pike. That's a theory anyway. Let's see if that theory gets put into practice. Rod number one, about to be cast out. There it is. Sardine. I like sardines. They're good, uh, good bait for pike. Oily as well, so that gives it uh, a little bit of uh, an edge over some fish. Both rods are out now. I like them. See the floats there. I love fishing for pike with a float. I think there's something really exciting about watching a pike float. And then, of course, when it starts to tremble and tremor, and then move off. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm actually fishing with some. Uh, some ground bait there, see inside the bucket. That's, uh, that's a designated um, predator ground bait. I hold it up to the camera there, you can see it's quite dark. It's got lots of uh, gooey things in there. But you can fish with just, just brown crumb and maybe a few maggots in there as well. The idea really is to draw the small fish in to the particular place where your uh, bait is. And then of course, the small fish are followed by the pike. So I'm going to put some of this uh, bait out now. I'm not going to put it all out in one go. The idea really is to just trickle it through the course of the day. Create a cloud, anything really, just to draw those small fish in to the specific area where my bait is. And then, as I say, the pike will follow. I've already seen a few small fish clear in the water. So I know there's a, a feeding pike out there somewhere. And I've put one of my baits on that spot where the pike was... Uh, was chasing those uh, fish. 
mind you, I say pike could be a perch, couldn't it? Or even a zandy, you never know. But uh, I'm thinking pike. In fact, I can see a few small fish um, clear in the water now. <laughs> Jumping for the lives. Just had a, a pickup on one of the baits. Definitely a, a fish taking it. Just for a few moments, the float started to move. It wasn't the current or anything like that. It was definitely a fish. But then he just, he just dropped it. It happens with, with pike. Just one of these things. But it's given me that, uh, that belief that the fish are out there feeding, which I know anyway, because I've seen them. And uh, now, of course, I've had, uh, I've had a little bit of a demonstration of that. Except I want more than a demo. I want the real thing. Just picked the other rod up. I've had some uh, interest there. But after a few moments, it's gone dead. I think they're playing with me today. Teasing me. I'll show them. I'm getting ready to pack away now. I'm really surprised that I haven't caught anything. Having said that, I did have the two inquiries early on, but all those uh, fish movements that I've had in the swim today, on a regular basis, lots of small fish uh, jumping at the water, could well have been perch and not pike. So that would explain why I haven't had any more action on the dead baits. But unless I do get a fish in the next few moments, this will be my final uh, words, or these will be my final words from the, uh, from the session. But before I do go, my hat that I'm wearing today, you may notice there, Fish Captures, just coming closer, fishcaptures.com. Check out the website. It's a, it's a site where you can store your photos can also show them off as well we all like to uh, like to be proud don't we of the fish we catch so it's a place where you can keep your photos uh, in storage access them whenever you want and also you can uh, you can display them as well for others to see so check out the site fishcaptures.com <laughs>